Good morning, everyone. Mike, Newfound Past on the day after Christmas. Hope everyone had a good one. Get over here in the chat, see where we're at. Uh, not a lot of sales, uh, but a few. I got three to package up this morning. See if anyone's alive, awake this morning. Uh, most most people are taking breaks and stuff, and that's good. But uh, shipping will go on today. You know, invited a few others, but uh, they may or may not pop in. So yeah, good morning, Michelle. Good morning, Craig. Yep. Hope everyone had a good day yesterday. We just lounged around and ate too much food and watched some movies. That's basically all the uh, my wife and I did. Hey, Sean. Morning, Lauren. Two to ship say I got I got three. I only sold one on Christmas Eve and one on Christmas Day, and I had one paid for that was bought on the twenty third. So cool. Good morning, Larry. So not a whole lot to do today, but uh, definitely wanted to pop in and do a video anyway. Yep, everything was good yesterday, Sean. Like I said, we just lounged around, didn't do much. But, uh, that's what it's about, right? <laughs> just lounging around, not doing much. I, uh, <clears throat> yeah. Um, I got to decide today. <laughs> Lauren back at her day job. That that's a stinker, isn't it? Morning, John. Yeah, everybody back with the normal work today. <laughs> it's basically like your workout, Sean. Sean said he cleaned out the storage unit yesterday on Christmas. That's why I tell people like throwing these bins around with all this stuff in it. That's my workout. I do a little bit more than that, but not much. Just one for hip flipping mama. Yeah. I only got three. Like I said, I only sold one on Christmas day, one on Christmas Eve and one paid for from the 23rd. That's a good thing about going back to work. Sean is like, you know, my wife had to go back to work today, but it's fairly quiet and it probably will be till after the new year. So yeah, it's pretty nice. All right, so I'm going to jump in here to shipping. Still selling a little bit of Christmas stuff. I mean, I just got this in a haul video and it sold, but a little Christmas thing. Still selling. Still selling. We are... Uh, I don't know when things will get back to normal, like when we'll do working hangouts and stuff again. Heck, I may do one this afternoon. I, don't know. I do have some errands to run. But uh, we'll see. I got to decide when I want to start doing my redo down here that I've talked about. The sooner the better, you know, actually, because it is a nightmare down here. <laughs> Pretty good fit. Get some paper. Ooh. Hope everything, everybody got what they wanted. Christmas. Uh, you know, at our age, I don't, I don't really need much, and a lot of people say that, but it's true. I don't need much of anything. Everybody has wants, but you know, don't really need anything. But still got a few things. My wife got me some shirts and. Uh, Needed some long sleeve shirts. And she got me some of those at Eddie Bauer. A few other things. All right. Ooh, four pounds right on the dot. Four pounds. Let's see where this bad boy's going. This is calculated shipping. I have transitioned over to paid shipping, but free returns. And I kind of want to see how that goes. 
I said I was going to do that after the new year, but I went ahead and did it yesterday since sales were slow. This one's going to Illinois. It's $8.43. So let's just check Pirate Ship just for giggles. I doubt it'll be any different. But let's just look. Uh, normal rate eleven dollars and fifteen cents, but uh, with the top rated discount eight dollars and forty three cents. So let's just look at pirate ship, just because, just because we can. It's four pounds on the money. Exact same. That's what I figured. Eight dollars and forty-three cents. So, going through eBay. A little bit chilly down in my lowest level tonight. My nose is a little bit running. Put my vest on. A little bit chilly. All right, first one. Hello. <laughs> You know, I don't. I just don't put videos on YouTube. I watch a lot of YouTube too, and I'm sure a lot of you, obviously, you guys do as well. But not just flipping stuff, but I watch a random assortment of stuff, interests and and hobbies. And but this morning, someone had. I watch a lot of music videos and stuff too on YouTube, like you know, because you know, I like music. But in the suggested videos this morning, it popped up a video from 1986, which you know. I remember the eighties. Well, I'll put it that way at my age, <laughs> the 1986. And it was a video taken in, um, in the DC suburbs in Maryland uh, over where a uh, FedEx field is now. I can't, can't remember uh, Largo, uh, around that area is 1986 when Judas priest was playing a concert there and somebody had a camcorder doing a video in the parking lot and interviewing people talking about a blast from the past. I thought it was pretty cool. It's just crazy the things that pop up on YouTube. That's why I love it, you know. So, yeah. Okay, what we got here? Good morning. Good morning, Dawn. Two hip chicks. Uh, Craig sold a wooden Pinocchio figure and a four. Gigabyte Sylvania MP3 player new. I love those things. I had a Sony one in my uh, haul video I dropped uh, yesterday. I love those new MP3 players. Sean got his photo box light. That's awesome. Take some better pictures. Low Beast Slayer. That's right. Linda's going to be thrifting today, heading home. And Nate, I don't know. Uh, Cubic may have made a small difference on that, but uh, it wasn't popping up. I know I could have did the poly bag thing, but uh, probably would not made a big difference. Yeah, very, very slow B Slayer. Uh, very, very slow. I, I also had just one on Christmas Eve, one on Christmas Day as well. And yes, I do use Cubic Ship when it's applicable, Nate. Yeah, all the Walmart, the Smoky Blizzard said Walmarts are all 75% uh, off this morning. So if you guys want to head out and hit those, I'm not going <laughs> to. Good morning, Mars. Exactly, Craig. You got to measure the poly bag flat before you put the box in it. Yep, I, I do. I use Cubic all the time when it's applicable, Nate. But it just not this, not in this case. Yeah, exactly, Linda. Everyone that had sales on Christmas, that's awesome. John just sold a water water filter. Yep, that's cool stuff. Uh, B Slayer, a Clue game board and a skateboard toy. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, John, in Pittsburgh. I like Pittsburgh. I love Permanti Brothers. My favorite sandwich shop in the world is Permanti Brothers in Pittsburgh. I was just in Pittsburgh earlier this year watching me and my friend Clyde went and saw the Steelers play the Ravens and hit up Permanti Brothers and it's good stuff. Good morning, Glenn. Good 
morning, uh, Boisan, Boisan. Yeah, Permanti Brothers, it's awesome. I love that the slaw stuff they put on top with the fries and everything. Oh, so good. <laughs> Make my mouth drool right now. I'm on a I'm doing my fast right now. I got another two hours. <laughs> okay, so let's ship the next item. Like I said, I only have three, so yeah. But three is better than zero. Cause I, I mean it's been a long time since I've been shut out, but it happens. This one's going to New York State. So, yeah. Let me grab a box. So this one's going to New York State. Shipping won't be that much on this. I'm going to be keeping my eyes out on Facebook Marketplace to see if anybody is selling their Christmas stuff that they don't want off for a discounted rate. It happens, but some people are asking for a top dollar. It just depends on how hard you want to try to negotiate with people. I have so much stuff to list. I'm, I don't try too hard, but if something jumps out at me, I will definitely go after it. I talked about it a little bit before, but I buy stuff. Not all the time, but when I when the opportunity presents itself, I buy stuff for just a hold for future sell, whether that future is five years, 10 years, or even 20 years. I'm still young enough, 20 years is all I have. I bought a, a sealed Lego set about a month ago off of Facebook Marketplace that I could sell right now for a profit. But I'm going to hang on to it because it'll probably just go up in value. One pound, five ounces. Yeah. 703. Um, again, I'm just going to check it just for just to show you guys but uh this one is not going to be any different on cubic but i will check it it could be like 50 cents difference but uh on uh ebay it's seven dollars and three cents so let's see what it would be on pirate ship about seven by six box Say one pound and five ounces. That was seven oh three on eBay and seven oh three on Pirate Ship because it's going close, you know. And that's why that is. So uh, you know, uh, he's talking about the cubic with the uh, poly miller. And the thing is, I mean, I have giant poly miller bags, and I have some like fifteen by twelves or so. This box doesn't really fit in any of that stuff really well. I have to cut something down, so I'm just going to pay the 703. You know, it could be a quarter difference, but more than likely not because it's close and it's light. So, second one going out. Okay. Let's see what we got here. I was wondering that Michelle, that the questions that that guy was asking was kind of different. It wasn't anything, you know, offensive initially, but uh, like, are you a trucker or something? I was like, that. Ah, okay, we got a little weird one here. <laughs> so glad for jumping. Uh, thank you for jumping on top of that, Michelle. Um, Lauren, you're starting your diet next week. Yeah, just 
say no to the sugar. <laughs> and and laying off sugar is really hard. Every day I have cravings for sugar still, but and it's been like two years. Now John, that's John. Um uh, thanks for popping in here. Uh and John's a new picker. He works a full time job, and that's the way a lot of us started out. Or a lot of people in here, like Lauren, hot chic thrift. Uh, she still works a full time job, but man, she crushes it on Poshmark. So yeah, it can be done. <laughs> Michelle, you're funny. Uh, It's whatever you're, uh, you know, everybody knows their own storage situation and what they like to thrift, what they like to go for, Nate. Uh, just keep on doing what you do. I don't believe in seasonal items, and a lot of people do, but I don't. Like, I just packaged up that Christmas thing or past Christmas, and this sold on Christmas Day. And obviously, they're not going to get it until, you know, a few days from now. And I've sold Christmas stuff all year. It just depends on your philosophy, what you can handle storage-wise, you know, so just... Find stuff you can make money on. That's what I say. No matter what. That's awesome. Your dad owns a warehouse, Nate. That's a big leg up. You know, because that's what my main struggle is with storage. Morning, Justin. Morning, Justin. Oh, that's awesome. You're getting that new MacBook set up. That rocks. Actually, that, that $800 off, that one day at Best Buy deal, I looked in my area and all of them were gone. You know, kind of like uh, Scott looked at it too and all his were gone because I was considering getting my wife one of those MacBook Pros, but yeah, they were gone. <laughs> uh, John, I cross pose. Uh, let me tell you what I do because I sell both used and new with tags clothing. There's special things that are used that I will cross post to Poshmark, but generally I cross post new attack stuff to Poshmark, but I do cross post. I put it on eBay and Poshmark. Uh, Poshmark, I do raise the price, a premium price, because uh, anyone can make offers on stuff on Poshmark and they will, they'll lowball you, you know, so you just got to develop your own philosophy. So that's what I do. I put really nice used stuff and new attack stuff cross posted. Well, thanks, Jeannie. Uh, I appreciate that. Jeannie says, love your shows. New at eBay, but I've learned a lot from you. Pre uh, that means a lot. That's the main reason why I do it. So, Yeah, absolutely, Michelle. No reason to limit your potential sales. Yeah, John says, if there's a good deal, buy it as long as you can store it. Yep, that's what I do, you know. And I'm at the point where I'm being really, really picky, as you can tell from my haul videos. But uh, that picky stuff is good stuff, you know. So, <laughs> yeah, that's really nice, Nate. I, you know, back when I had my retail stores, I had in my I owned a chunk of land in Missouri with some outbuildings. That was an ideal situation for this stuff. But not where I live now in the suburbs of Washington, D.C., very restricted. No, nope, Justin, not at all. I'm uh, Justin asked if I got to a thousand subscribers yet. Nope, not really close. <laughs> Gaining a few every day, and that's all you can ask for. Good morning, Gate City Picker. Morning, morning. Yeah, if you, Sean, if you look right above me, you can see him. I have racks above me all over the place. My garage has the same thing. And I am about maxed out. People, one time on the one of our uh, working hangout videos, I, you know, I had to get my steps to out to get something off the rack up here. And people are like, what are you doing? My storage is above me. <laughs> well, thanks, Linda. Thank you. Okay, let me get this last thing shipped out. Let's see what it is here. Probably have to uh, partner up a few 1045 boxes for this. Good girl. Yeah, probably have to partner up a couple of 1045s. Uh, 
I may have to go out in my garage and get more 1045s. I got I had one left on my shelves over here, but I know I have somewhere outside. Let's just see what it looks like. Finally got those regional rate boxes I ordered in, and I haven't used a one typically. Been waiting on them for a couple weeks. Yep, definitely gonna have to partner that, partner those two boxes up. Be right back. Be right back. All right. My box is a little heavy. Test, test, test. Mike, can you hear oh, me? Hi, Justin. Yeah, I can hear you, bud. Right, I'm just, uh, I actually jumped in just to test out all the equipment. Absolutely. You got the new MacBook set up. <laughs> yeah, and I, I put the, the camera on a tripod, and I have my mic over here. Actually, I moved from the standing desk. I kept the standing desk as a shipping station with the Dymo and the old laptop. And this uh, table that I had over here with the denim, I've turned into kind of like an actual office desk. So I'm trying to just play around and see what works, you know? Absolutely. Yep. When you, that's, you know, when I blow this up, I'm going to tinker with a few setups. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what the hell I did with the chat. <laughs> Popped it out, but I don't I can know. tell you one thing, Justin, your camera is way clearer. Yeah, this is uh, the Logitech 920, whatever the hell it is. It looks really good. Thank you. Yep. I don't know what I did with the chat. Like, I popped out the chat, but I don't know where it goes on a MacBook. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, it's a learning. Yeah. I did this on this iMac. I'm like, where in the world did everything go? Okay. Where did my chat I thought so. What was that? <laughs> um, I think my computer thought I was trying to talk to it. <laughs> How many words did you have going out today, Mike? Just three. Yeah, I didn't have much at all. Yep. You, you yesterday. Yep. And I, I, I was telling the chat, I'm, I'm glad I just had this. Uh, I had three. You know, I was expecting. I don't expect anything over Christmas. Yeah. So. I think I've. I've Check my subscribers this morning. I think I'm bumping 800, but uh, yeah, still on the grind to a thousand. You'll probably be there by like at latest by mid January, yeah. I would think. Yeah, because this past month, I think I've gained 400 subscribers in a month. Nice. Yeah. It's all because of all you guys, because that's that exposure is what has drove it for sure. Morning, Larry. How's it going? I mean, if you got 41 people in here, Mike, that's awesome. People want to do stuff, you know, all the, even all the, all of us are taking time off and people are wanting to do stuff. Yeah, I, I, I got to get back to doing the morning show tomorrow. I was going to do it today. I've just been trying to get all this crap set up. Yep. Know? I was wondering that one because I was kind of late getting up today. I think I didn't get up to about seven. I'm like, man, I wonder if Justin's doing a show. I have to hurry. <laughs> but you weren't, so it worked out. Uh, I keep getting this phone call from this number in Canada, and I just I constantly ignore it. Sure it's like spam, you know? Yeah. Yep. And I think. I'm going to be a bum. Like, my wife's off today. She goes back to work tomorrow. So I'll get back to doing the morning show tomorrow. Cool. I think as far as listing goes, I'm probably taking off until the second. Yeah, I've been debating that in my own mind. <laughs> when I want to get back to listing. Yeah. I'm not decided yet. <laughs> I think it's going to be the second. And the good thing with a MacBook, man, is see, I take all my photos with my iPhone. And, like, as soon as I take a photo, it's on my computer like through the iCloud thing. So it's like, I think I'm going to have to, I'm thinking I'm going to start doing all my photos now. Because like before, like with the Apple, I mean, with the Windows computer, I had to like plug in the phone and transfer it all. It was a huge pain in the ass, you know? Yep. Uh, so I did everything one by one. 
but now with uh MacBook, I'll, I should be able to take like a bunch of photos and then do my listings on a one by one by one. That's why I switched to a sitting situation. And then I have my shipping station over there. Um, that's still part of the standing desk, you know, like here, I'll turn the camera to the chat. You know, Mike, you're busy, but see guys, that's where I used to film my videos is that standing desk over there. Um, and so that's now a shipping station with the Dymo on my old computer. And then I have like my flat lay shipping area over there. Then of course, like where I do the, you know, clothing. So if anyone's curious how that is, and I got the, the camera set up on a tripod. Um, I actually, I got this really nice, uh, Velbrum, uh, solid steel tripod at a goodwill a while back for four bucks. I was going to sell it, but I decided to keep it. Three, thirteen, or three. All right, I'm figuring out my last item here. This this definitely won't go cubic because it's 23 inches long. So nine dollars and forty two cents. And between that new internet, you got the uh, upgraded internet and your mat and your uh, new uh, laptop. There, you're good to go <laughs> for a while. <laughs> Linda King is asking, is that a death pile back there? Uh, it's a death mountain. Yeah. <laughs> Here, do you want to see it better? Here, now that I have a tripod, I can move you all around easier. There you go. <laughs> there it is. It's, a, it's probably about three, four feet high. Looks like the pile I have in my garage. <laughs> 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 that I haven't touched in like six months. Yeah, I'm... um. I think I'm going on a sourcing strike for at least for the month of January. Yeah. It's I say that, but like January is also a good time to source because people yes. are getting rid of stuff because they receive a bunch of new stuff at Christmas time. So a lot, and there's no yard sales really going on. So they donate a bunch of stuff to make way for the new stuff. So absolutely true. Just be like me, man. Just be super picky. Like I would, you know, I, it's hard to, but I pass up on those things. I can make 10, 15 bucks on just pass them up. And that's tough, but that's what you have to do. Yeah. Because yeah. like I said, this last, this thrifting last weekend was really good. The haul, haul was pretty good, but I passed up probably 50 things I could have made 10 bucks on. Easy. Yeah. Dude, my, my sales, this just last, like ever since the 20th, have just been poop. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I'm pulling it up now because I like, I don't th think you understand what I mean by poop. So <laughs> Third, so on the 20th, I did a hundred bucks, which isn't good. But then on Friday, the 21st, I did 45 bucks. Saturday, a whopping 16 bucks. Sunday, $101. Okay. You know, not great, but not horrible. But then Christmas Eve, $44. And uh, Christmas Day, $45. That's been, that's been my week, dude. My seven day total right now is $352. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's it's been abysmal. But you kind of knew that. <laughs> you knew. Yeah, yeah I knew going in. It just it just dropped. I'm hoping it picks up starting like today and tomorrow. I need to probably run a sale or something. Yeah. Um, that's why. That's the only reason I made. Even even if I do list, I made list only like five things just to keep that engine rolling. You know. Yeah, I thought about that myself. Yeah, I'll probably I'll probably list a few things tomorrow. With Gabby being off, she's still in bed, but like and easy stuff, you know, don't 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 do hard stuff, you know, do like five easy things, you know. <laughs> yeah, with, with Gabby, it'll being take off. like twenty minutes and be done, you know. <laughs> Since Gabby took today off, I'll uh, probably just spend time with her, but then tomorrow I'll probably get to listen to a few things. What's up, Scott? Hey, Lauren, nice to see you in here. Yeah, Lauren's been hanging out. She's at her full time gig. Oh, that sucks, man. Having to go in the day after Christmas. That really sucks. Oh, good morning, Scott. Thanks for popping in. We're just shooting the breeze. Typical. I'm done packaging my whopping three orders up. <laughs> yeah, I got to get a shower. Thinking about our strategy for the next week of doing little or doing less than little. <laughs> <laughs> 
Was your family get together a success? It was. Uh, I almost I forgot we were uh, live. It was uh, tiring. Yeah, <laughs> it always is hosting. Yeah, you know, we used to host like a Thanksgiving back in Missouri. Man, it'll wear you out. Yeah, we'll see. We have a uh, we have uh, like four nieces and nephews and they're they're good kids but god man they got so much energy and they're just like super i'm not around i'm not used to being around kids so it's like it's like dude y'all need to calm down and then of course they get all sugared up you know what i mean with christmas stuff and ugh. i know I, I one part i try to work on myself is i have a temper <laughs> yeah. and i know that you know so i try to work on it but we had my uh, sister-in-law and her three kids came in to DC for a vacation, you know, and of course they can stay here, you know, but the, one of the kids is like five and I told him, you know, not to mess with a certain cat because the cat will. Yeah. Oh, he didn't swipe at you. And what did you do? Poke the cat and the cat smacked him right in the face. And I yelled at that kid and I was like, damn, I shouldn't yell at that kid. <laughs> yeah. I had to catch myself yesterday with some, 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 we have a cat that's like super chill, but he does not like kids. Yep. Well, and kids get in the cat's face, and that's the worst thing you can do with a cat. You don't get in their face, especially if they don't know you, you know? Right, right, exactly. But anyway, kid was fine. <laughs> Didn't take an eye or anything. Then Gate City Picker did $350 yesterday. Holy smokes. That's a Merry Christmas right there. <laughs> Yeah, he did more yesterday than I did in the last seven days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Craig says your camera looks much better, and it does. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I was using that old like before I got the Logitech. I was using the freaking webcam on that old ass um, laptop. Yeah, it's a people say, oh, there's not much difference between a five-year-old laptop. Well, there is. There's a huge difference between a five-year-old laptop. I mean, just look at your your new tech right now, you know? Yeah, well, and also, I mean, that wasn't even just a five-year-old laptop. That was a budget laptop back when I bought it. You know what I mean? That was a $200 computer back in 2012. So. <laughs> Which now is like a, you know, maybe $25, you know, <laughs> maybe. Of course, I say that though. When I got this this iMac, I got it from a retired guy for a good deal, and I uh, had an old like Dell desktop with the monitor. Mm -hmm. I actually got more money than I thought I would out of that computer. So I think that tower sold for like ninety nine dollars on eBay, and the monitor sold for like sixty. I was floored because it was kind of like your laptop. It was like a budget desktop. Literally, it was like two hundred fifty dollars new. <laughs> Shocking what people pay for this stuff. Yeah, I don't I don't regret a single dollar that I spent on this MacBook, man. Like it is uh it is worth it. Is my sound coming through okay? I got the mic kind of uh my Yeti over here. I don't know if it does I sound like muddled or anything. No, you sound good. Okay, cool. That's one thing I got for Christmas, uh but haven't set up yet as a as a mic a boom mic i'm gonna set it up up here you know nice you actually get really good sound are you just using your imac for sound yep. right now just my imac right now yeah so. it, it picks up well um i i use a uh i have a blue or like a blue what is it a blue yeti blackout mic i yep. think and that's exactly what i got as well is that blue yeti with the the boom thing yep. Yeah, you'll love it, man. It, it's really nice, and it has like different settings. So, like, if you're like uh, having a guest, like in person, or if you like, let's say you're doing like a working hangout, and you wanted to pick up like the room, it has like those settings. It's really cool. Yeah, I'll have to tinker with that. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to set it up yet until I blow this up, though, because everything may be different here in a few weeks. <laughs> I get that. Especially if the weather cooperates, if the rain will stay away from us in Northern Virginia. Yeah. Yeah, it's cold as hell right now, man, down south here in Virginia. It's cold here, too. There was a hard frost this morning out there. <laughs> yeah, I had to go to the storage unit to grab some stuff, and it was, uh... Yeah. Well, Scott's had someone lecturing this morning about packing. Oh, goodness, yeah. Don't you know newbies can teach you stuff, Scott? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
it's like that new that my negative feedback newbie that gave me negative feedback before they even contacted me tried to work anything out bam negative feedback which i don't care they can shove it you got that removed though right no wow. no i called ebay and and, and this part it's an old person i know for a fact it's an old person because they're like you know after i tried to explain them what to do they got all offended and started lecturing me i'm an old lady <laughs> like stay off ebay old lady <laughs> she doesn't even know how to close the return she opened because she's keeping the item now because it's fine mm. but i don't well care. just get her to say a message that the return can be closed and yep. they call ebay and they'll close it for you well that's what i did and she said she's not going to return it and i called ebay and they're like nope they got to do it themselves i'm like whatever well just, just wait the seven days then because yeah. like you know, i think what is it they have like seven or, i think they have nine days to send it back and then you can call it and get it closed that's exactly what i'm gonna do after that time period i'm just gonna close it and then whatever <laughs> the negative can hang there as a thing of pride you know so for all i care yeah i kind of look at it the same way i mean look at you know in a day is feedback is everyone tells you it's like, i mean yeah you don't want to have like a crap ton of negatives mm -hmm. just because it doesn't look good but like in the day feedback is not as important in today's world on ebay as people make it out to be not at all because it's so artificial you know like that hey i hadn't i've been contemplating leaving automatic feedback but i hadn't yet and that lady left that negative so all i can do is leave her a positive so i did but you know it was pretty snarky positive <laughs> uh, i'm bad i shouldn't have done that <laughs> i wouldn't worry about it man yeah i'm not uh, scott I told them they had to pay for me to ship it. Well, they give you a bad address and they got returned. Is that what happened? Yep. Sometimes they're just not worth dealing with Scott. Yep. Put them on the block list. That's what happened to the old lady. She's on the block list now. Yeah, that's what I do too, man. If someone gives me a headache, I'm not dealing with them again. Oh. Don't need to go out. All right. Anybody got any questions? We were just, Justin's doing a test. I'm done packing. I think everybody's just kind of chilling out. Cool. Th thanks, Scott. Yeah, I'm, ho I'm hoping this one will, I'm, you know, I went like kind of like top, not top, top of the line, but you know, top of the line for what I need it. So I'm hoping it lasts, you know, five, six years. It's going to take a year and a half to pay off. <laughs> hey, 0%. That's what it's all about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, if it was, uh, if it was interest bearing, I wouldn't do it. Um, anytime I finance, it's going to be interest free or I'm not going to finance. Especially with that deal with that, you know, Unless we're talking real estate, like my house obviously has interest. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What I'm sitting in has interest. <laughs> Everything else doesn't. <laughs> it's Sean. I'm searching auctions, online auctions, and clearance sales. Yeah. I got a few auctions I'm watching as well, but, you know, auctions here, people are nuts. All right, guys. Justin, thanks for popping in. I'm glad your stuff worked out. And we got, I got Justin help me pop up my affiliate links so check that out a bunch of crap i actually use and all that nonsense i've actually made a whopping 70 cents off that so hey 70 cents is 70 cents <laughs> yeah it is <laughs> but i don't know if we'll do anything later today but i appreciate everyone popping in 58 watching you guys are awesome hit that thumbs up i do appreciate it thumbs up thumbs down whatever you want to do whatever your proclivities i have a chronic thumbs downer and that's okay too Dude, I all <laughs> hey look, real fast guys let me ask y'all this if y'all have anyone that you know of like in reseller groups that you're friends with that may not know about mike's channel let's try to get them to 1000 by the end of the year um it, we have like what a week so if you guys can share his channel or let people know about it word of mouth is a great thing let's get him to 1000 he deserves it he puts out great content let's do it guys um that's all that's my thing so. thanks justin mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll see you guys later all right bye but